love him. Yeah. That'd make for good video. <laughs> All right, folks. You get somewhere to lay down. Sit. Go, girl. All right, folks. Here we are. Bear of the weekend. Got a special today. All right. So, a while back, we delivered that coffee table to my granddad. And we did beer over the weekend with three of my uncles and my dad. Well, this is one of the other uncles that didn't happen to be there that day. So I didn't know if you do that or not. They did a... Yeah, I saw it. It was pretty good. Okay, yeah, so, it was good. Uh, uh, this <laughs> right here is the real beer connoisseur. This is the one that should have been there for beer of the weekend. He uh, He's quite the... Uh, Craft beer drinker. That I am a connoisseur. There's uh, that's still out. Yeah. Okay. So he's going to tell us a little bit about himself. What we got going on here? Go ahead and tell us your name. You don't have to give social security uh, okay. number. Okay. So I'm I'm Jim. I, I'm Sai's uncle. I uh, live in Maine. So my wife and I left Maine October 11th. Drove out to see some of her family in Iowa. My dad and sister and brother in Kansas and heading back to Maine get there uh, get home on Veterans Day spent a lot of time in the pop-up camper got here last evening had a fun time putting the pop-up camper up uh, that would have been a YouTube video if we'd have been thinking about it yes but uh, slept well last night not too cool to so really nice weather having a good time and looking forward to tasting the beers so yeah, it was. Uh, it's been raining here a couple days, so driveway's a little muddy. The where we probably mm -hmm. planned to set them up is uh, a little muddy. Might not have been able to get there, so we had to improvise. All right. So the beer that we're gonna try first, I've already we've already done a video on. I actually did this with the neighbor over there. We both liked it. We're gonna get Uncle Jim's opinion on it. So we're going to split this one. So this is the Susie B. Blondale from Southern Prohibition Brewing in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Nice label. Let's see what it's like inside. Here you go, Cyrus. This is a blonde ale. It kind of lives up to that. Kind of a dirty blonde ale, but still blonde. Kind of a wheat. Wheat, kind of like a. Along the line of a Budweiser, a better taste, a little bit better body. What are your thoughts? Well, I'm a sewer here. <laughs> I like it. That's my thoughts. Yeah, yeah. It's a good, but, good, so, uh, good, smooth yeah. beer. That, that's the nice thing about beer is that different people like different styles, and there's enough styles out there now that you know anybody can probably find a good beer in this. Some people really like the IPAs, which are all over the place now. I like the stout or a porter. This is a bad, this would be a good, what I would call a lawnmower beer. Yeah. Out hot. Right. This is just hit the spot if you're out working up a sweat and need something cold to drink. Probably could have used one of these halfway through our setting up in the camper last night. Yeah. <laughs> So on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you give it? Now, this is where it's going to get tricky because I've already given my review on this. Oh, I haven't seen it. So, so what was I your don't review? remember. <laughs> so, I'm going to say, I'm going to say for this particular style of beer, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. I like it. For this style, yeah, I'd give it probably an 8 or 9. For my likes and beers, I'd give it... 
four on a day like today and maybe a seven on a hot day. But the style, it's one of the better in the Blondell style. And beer is always more enjoyable drinking it with friends than drinking it alone. All right, so from Maine, he brought us Rising Tide Brewing Company. It's a milk stout, Cow Island. Uh, it's got some latitude, long, longitude lines on here. Cow Island, home to Ripple Effects Outdoor Expeditionary Learning Programs, brewed in support of Ripple Effect. Milk stout contains lactose. Never filtered, never pasteurized. Live beer on board. 6% alcohol, one pint. Brewed in Portland, Maine by Rising Tide Brewing Company. So we had breakfast today. Stephanie made us her breakfast pizza, which was outstanding. The sausage, there's the uh, sausage gravy on there. Best I've tasted in a long time. So this would have gone good with it. This kind of made me think of breakfast. Yeah. He probably would have rinsed the glasses out being a... Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. And he probably knows how to pour this better than I'm pouring too. Nice and dark. Nice. The head is nice. Look, looks nice. Well, it doesn't matter, Sy, because alcohol kills germs. Yeah. <laughs> and we're family. <laughs> well, I like oh, the smell. Dark coffee. It's a nice, nice stout. Could be a breakfast out if you didn't have to go to work. Yeah, I like it. So I think the past, I think I've had two coffee stouts on the channel. This one's right in the middle. This one here is probably perfect. One was too sweet, more chocolate milky tasting, and the other one was like eating coffee grounds. This is right in the middle, I think. This is a, to me, this is very good. Very nice, smooth. It's actually, they call it a milk stout, but there's a, it's like a strong coffee taste. Uh, maybe it could have been called, I don't know if it's got coffee in it or not, but it sure tastes like it. Yeah. Very good. And stouts are a lot harder to find than the IPAs. Everybody seems to like IPAs now. So he brought me mostly porters and IPA, I mean porters and stouts from Maine. Uh, I had Stephanie go on a mission to get him a six pack to take home and one to try here and she really couldn't find a stout or a porter. It was mostly IPAs from around here. We do have them, they're just hard to find. Yeah, yeah. But any beer from a place you haven't had beer before is always, always an adventure. There's uh, very rarely is there a bad beer. There may just be beers you don't really particularly like, but somebody else does. I think I've only poured, poured one or two beers down the drain. One was a smoked uh, smoked beer from Germany that tastes like the bottom of an ashtray. And I guess you got a taste for that, but I, I, just, I just couldn't get that. Now, he says my aunt... He says she likes IPAs. Yeah, she loves IPAs. The hoppier, the better. Uh, so that's a clear, and she doesn't like stouts. 
So <clears throat> that's a clear example of two people living in the same house who have exactly opposite taste in beer, and you can still get along. Hmm. Um, just have to know which one to pour them. And you always have to be willing to experiment a little bit and get outside your comfort zone. That being said, the more I drink IPAs, the more tolerable I've become of them. I think I've almost got to a point where I kind of almost like them. So you're a better man than me. <laughs> I'll take a sip or two at nine times out of ten. This is this is good. It's been a nice trip driving through from Maine out to the Midwest and in different getting different types of beers and um, experiencing how different people brew them. So it can be a real adventure. And Independence is opening a brewery. Yeah. Which uh, when you get back next time, go down and do a report. Let us know how that is. If it's worth going to or not, it'd be good. All right, folks, I think that is it for this yeah, one. Yeah, definitely here in Maine, if you can find this one it, and you like stouts, it's well worth the, uh, the effort. Thank you for watching.